hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. I hope you're doing well. Today we've got an unboxing from the one, the only, Diamond Art Club, and we have the landscapers here today. I'm, I have my lunch break. So I was like, I really want to get these unboxings done during my lunch break, but I had to wait for them to finish mowing. Seems like they've stopped. They might grab some other stuff and start making some more noise. So hopefully it's not too loud. But anyway, regardless, um, today we're taking a look at Legend of the Jaguar Shaman by Nathan Miller. And this is a round drill canvas, 55.8 by 83.8 centimeter like I said, round drill canvas. So I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. And make sure to leave in the comments how things are going for you. Um, but yeah, I took a short break from purchasing diamond paintings. And then I started jumping back into it and grabbing a few more. This one really called to me. I'm not sure when it was originally released, but it really called to me because it's a big old round drill canvas. And the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, this is going to enhance nicely. So I wanted to snag it. I think it'll be a fun enhancement project. This box did come a little bit uh, dinged up uh, straight out of the box or out of the box it was in, um, but it should be okay. It should be okay. But yeah, just looking for more kits to potentially enhance in the future. This called to me. You've got your little mini sticker here, a little thumbnail sticker here with the kit details for journaling purposes. This is in their older box. So I think it's an older kit, I'm not sure. Um, but we do have our tool kit here. So I guess let's go ahead and take a quick peek at that. Eh, eh. All right, okay, cool. Little blast from the not so distant past a bag of baggies here. We also have a roll of washi tape in this one. Cool. We also have our diamond painting pen here, single placer, little comfort grippy, which I'm not gonna try to put on. <laughs> and then we also have our multi placers here, four and seven. Nice to have two pieces of pink heart wax in there. And then we also have a cover minder here that came with some extra, extra few magnets, but a little flower cover minder with four magnets on it. And then we have our diamond painting tray with stopper. Awesome. Okay, let me clear the deck here. Just pick out the stuff that I'm going to save. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got our canvas in its little plastic sleeve here. And inside that sleeve we have, like I said, our actual canvas and then we're gonna have our drills and a couple other goodies here. We've got our thank you note from Diamond Art Club with instructions on how to diamond paint and some discount codes for future purchases. And then we're gonna have our sticker sheet. Da, 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 da. Looks like we're working with 60 colors here. One, two, three ABs and two fairy dust for a total of five enhancement drills. Lots of greens and silvers. Oh, this is gonna look so cool. I can't wait to see this rendering. Okay. All right, and then we've got our drill pack here, which we will get to, but let's take a look at our canvas. I'm just gonna roll it back on itself. We're working with the Diamond Art Club, soft canvas, poured glue, clear symbols, sticky adhesive, all the stuff you come to expect from Diamond Art Club. Oh, I thought that was... Okay, he did bring another mower out, but we'll see how loud it gets. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. How cool. Oh my gosh. The rendering's really good. Heck yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get it all in frame here. Yes, we can. Sorry about the glare. You know the glare here in this house. 
just with the windows and everything. I'm wondering if I can, let me close. Ugh. Sorry, sorry everyone. Closing the blinds. Our plants are just gonna have to deal without the sun for a minute. Oh, that's a little better. That's a little better. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah, once again, 55.8 by, by 83.8 centimeters. And yeah, we've got our jaguar here with the snakes, lizard, um, parrots on its head and on either side. And then this really cool looking plant life in the background, I think, or um, done in like a silver tone, which is kind of unique. But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, I can see where I would want to do some fun stuff with this. So really cool canvas. This would be a great one to hang up in the office. Um, once again, symbol clarity is looking good. As far as composition goes, you do have a fair amount of color blocking in some of the background here at the bottom, but as you work up, you're going to start to see more and more line blocking and confetti, especially in that plant life in the background, in the birds, and in the jaguar himself, uh, his self or their self, a lot of um, line blocking and confetti, especially throughout here and in the head as well. But really cool kit. I think this one's going to enhance nicely. But let's take a closer look at the colors and see what we're working with. I'm going to open up our color pack here, but it's quite loud, so give me just one second. Okie dokie, we'll cut out our enhancement drills as we go and identify where there's, those are going to go. But let's go ahead and get into it. We've got 890, 640, 834, Z, uh, Z471, which is a fairy dust drill and kind of an avocado green color. Here, I guess we can put that right here. Sorry about the noise. We've got, we've got the weed whacker going. 783 and 318. Next up we have 580, 702, 3740, 3346, 3772, 931, 895, 3765, 3364, 733, 135, our first AB, which is a chartreuse AB, or Aurora Borealis Enhancement Drill. Just a small handful of that. Then we've got 611, 3865, 3706, 3787, 839, 336, 543, 3705, and 3363. Big old chain of drills here. 520, 930, 3852, 814, 3801, 939, 107, our second AB, which is a bright red AB. And then right next to it is our next fairy dust that's Z762, kind of a smoky, not quite ivory, but not quite gray. A uh, slightly off-white fairy dust drill. Put that here. Put that here. And this. And this. Okay. Then we've got 498, 780, 434, 130, our final AB, I believe. Yep. And that's uh, kind of a deeper yellow AB. Goldenrod, perhaps. Okay. Oh, I gotta cut that out. There we go. Okie dokie. Then we've got 433, 300, 935, 310, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bags of 310. Then we've got 782, 321, 3782, 444. Ooh, I love that. 924, 415, 413, 317, 732, 937, 370, 414, 581, 938, 898, 580, 936, and one, two bags of 3371, and one bag of 3799. So not a lot of colors with a ton of bags, meaning we're gonna have quite a few different color changes going on here, and more 
confetti than color blocking, most likely. So yeah, okay, so let's take a look and see where these specialty drills go. Our first one is 107. That's that red AB right there. And that's symbol number one, and we're gonna see it in these plants here, just doing some detailing throughout each of the leaves or petals on either side here. Um, it looks like, do our parrots have any? No, so I'm just gonna put that right here, just generally. Then next one is 130, symbol number two, that yellow AB. That's gonna be in our snakes here, and it comes down into these plants as well, um, in our snake here. And then it comes up on these plants on either side. And not in the parrots again. I'm gonna put that here just with the snake. And then we've got uh, 135, which is that kind of chartreuse looking AB. That's symbol number three. Whoops, sorry. Twisting the table on you. Um, chartreuse AB. Where are you? Huh. Okay, if we can't find it quickly for the purposes of trying to get this done without too much noise. Oh, I see it. It's in either of the parrot's heads right here and right here. So I'm going to put that here. Then we have Z741, that kind of avocado looking fairy dust drill. And that's our dash symbol. We're going to see that in the parrot's heads in some of the greenery in the background kind of throughout the bottom here. Not really seeing it too much at the top and in the lizard. So I'm gonna place that here. And then our last one is Z762, that slight off white fairy dust drill. And that's our plus symbol. And we're gonna see that throughout the Jaguar's body here on the kind of gray tones all the way up. Um, not in the face, not in the face. So it's pretty much here down is where we're seeing it. Let me just double check plus symbol. Yeah, so pretty much like here, down, a little bit right here on the cheek on that side, um, and a little bit on the parrots as well, but I'm going to place that here. So that's kind of all of our enhancements. It's it's decent. It's a, it's a decent amount of enhancements. It's a little light for my taste. I'm sure you can, you know me by now, it's a little light for my taste, but that would work out well if you just decided to do it straight up. Kind of just some soft additions, nothing too over the top. That being said, <laughs> let me go ahead and clear these out of the way. Um, I really thought that this image, um, it just gave me like lots of like rich, deep tones for some reason. Um, and I was like, this would look so cool, really glammed up, I think, uh, especially the juxtaposition between the gray and light color, uh, lighter kind of grayscale uh, plant life in the background compared to the color that kind of pops out towards the front as though he's kind of walking or they're kind of walking through the plant life. So trying to give it more of like a 3D effect. Um, and I think this would look really good with a high amount of metallics and just, just give it that kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but kind of that jungle South, Amer South American vibe I thought would look really, really cool. Um, so I'm thinking what I, well, I'll probably do is a lot of these bronze and gold tones actually convert those over to metallic tones. So in the snake and in the, the plant life here and in the parrot's wings at the top really do some golds and bronzes and coppers. Those could also come up the side of the jaguar and even in its body maybe a little bit. Um, I'll have to see what that would look like, but definitely here, 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 and at the top just kind of frame it in those like deep golds and rich bronzes and coppers, um, swap out some of these yellows and bronzy colored drills. So 3772, 780, 782, all of those kind of yellowy, hued tones. Um, the other thing I was thinking, we do have the ABs. Oh, there's a little frog right here. Um, we do have the ABs in the, the plant life on either side here, but I'll most likely be doing some sparklers in some of these more pink hues and lighter colored hues and maybe even one of the deep tones. So really dress those up as well. Um, you get those colors to come through on the uh, parrots as well. All three of them would have just a little bit of a kind of jewel hit to uh, right, right above their beaks, which I thought would be cool. Um, moving on, I definitely, as far as the greens go, 
Uh, whatever colors are in this necklace here or chain, I'll definitely be doing in like some rich emeralds or something like that. And those colors will most likely carry through somewhere in the frogs, lizards, and in the greenery as well. But I'll base which ones I pick off of what's on this necklace here. And it looks like that's going to be 580. Um, 580, 936, and 937. So that's probably what I'll do with those. And then moving on, I'll also probably be doing, um, there's just a little smattering of blue in this kit, just on this one parrot, just a little bit of like a grayish blue. So I'll probably do those. And then finally, I most likely will want to do something with these this background gray to give it like a really pop of like metallic or use like a gray sparkler just to add a little bit of interest. The color that's popping out to me is the softest of the grays, which is seven, and that's 318. You're going to find that in the parrots in some of the background, and you're going to get a decent amount of it down here in the actual jaguars uh, themselves. So I could see myself doing that color because I'm, it's going to show up in a few different places and create a cool sparkle effect right here and pretty much on the entire jaguar from here down a little bit more of a sparkle effect so some sort of metallic like a like a smoky gray or a silver metallic maybe not a bright silver but more of like a smoky color a little bit deeper of a color um, and then it would be cool to do something with this necklace here on this piece um, we're working with some more of those bronze tones, so those might be reflected from what I decide to do here, might end up here as well, but it would be cool to give this some more like metallic look as well. Those colors might also show up in the Jaguar's eyes, which would also be kind of cool. So, <clears throat> sorry. So yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity here. I like it because it's a bigger round drill canvas, and I don't have a lot of Diamond Art Club larger round drill canvases. I feel like you don't see those too, too often from Diamond Art Club um, at this size in round, so it's nice to see. But yeah, I think it would look really cool with um, just some extra dressing up. Even in the snake's eye, I could see, um, oh, you know what'd be fun is to do like maybe even a glow, like a glow drill here and in the parrot's eyes, do some glow drills or something. We'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll play with it once I get started, but definitely a lot of opportunity to dress this up. And I think I, just making it a little bit more richer with the metallics and kind of deeper yet more vibrant, if that makes sense. So yeah, let me know what you think. This is once again, Legend of the Jaguar Shaman by Nathan Miller, 55.8 by 83.8 centimeter round drill canvas, 60 colors, three ABs and two fairy dust drills. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.